day one and I'm getting ready to leave right now. It's uh la siete de la mañana y um today is gonna be tough. Hoy es el primer día de San Antonio. Third trip. This is gonna be a second building. I don't have to do as many things I have to done for the previous one, but this one's gonna be tougher because it's just me this time. Modus operandi. I'm gonna be working on a few walls that have like these solid colors. I'm gonna get rid of those first. And I want to start with a wall that has a pattern. So I want to get those things out of the way as soon as I can because those have a background color. And then you have some designs on top of that in white. So that's gonna be a pain, but so far so good. I organized myself and I bought uh, like a bunch of stuff to be able to cook here in the little room so I don't waste that much time and money picking up food every morning, every night so I'll be just doing some carry out for lunches which it works for me yeah, that's pretty much I gotta get ready Let me put you guys in context real quick. Since we finished the San Antonio location so quick, like so, so quick, we planned this field trip with Anna and Megan to go check out the new location at Brazos Valley. And that was super exciting. Obviously at first I was planning everything just with Carlota, like check this out, check this place, look at this room, look at all this space, oh my god, we're gonna be insane, I'm not gonna have any knees after this. Does Amazon have a two day delivery on limbs? Because I'm gonna need new hands and stuff, but still, I was super stoked. So we went over there to check it out so I could take my own measurements, my own pictures, my own videos of absolutely everything so I could like plan everything from home with no problem and also all the notes uh, from all the stuff that we discussed for the place. And after that, uh, Carlota and I, we just had like some free time before we got back to Merlin. The thing is like, you guys already know, Carlota could not make it this time. So I end up like planning everything to tackle this monster clinic all by myself, which by the day that we were getting closer to the date, and I was just like, I, uh, you know what? Um, let's just not do the treatment room for now. If there is a higher power, I choose to believe that this was his intervention. So I got back home, did my little drawings, everything was approved, and in a matter of a month, I was back in a plane to get in this done. It was so nice to escape a little bit from the cold weather of Maryland during November. And pretty coincidental, I ended up traveling the following day of my birthday. So very nice Anna and very nice Megan, they were waiting for me on the first day of the project because they were uh, getting everything ready for them to be moving into the following week that I will be working into this project. To explain this real quick, uh, this whole project was just mainly hallways, an office, playground and entrance. My biggest concern was the main entrance because of how complicated that thing was going to be. So that's that was the first thing that I want to get off the way, which I couldn't, but it's okay. So I took the whole first week just to get all the hallways and part of the main entrance done so I could have my last few days just to, to just to get that playground done. The thing is that I really don't want to ramble too much about all the details that I really want to share in a separate video later. So I just want to invite you guys to sit down, elevate your feet, get yourself a cup of whatever you're into, uh, maybe a beer, hot cocoa if you're experiencing this really cold weather and stuff, and uh, just check it out. It's a pretty long video, but I am not apologizing this time for it, since it turned out pretty fucking cool. I'll be rambling to you later.
If you're hearing me right now, it's because you must be at least, at least, more than 10 minutes in. Thank you so much, chico. Vale, concha, le cosa preciosa esta vaina. No joda. I know, I know, it's so long. But I really don't know how to compress two weeks of overwhelming work without making it super intense time lapse. Yes, I am exhausted and in pain, but I'll just power it through, man. Honestly, the biggest challenge is more inside of my head than it is on my knees. I literally kicked my own mental butt since working by myself with very long periods of time of solitude. That really takes a toll into your confidence. It's, I think it's the hardest proof that I have that my own brain plots against me all the time. I could have my super well-planned schedule, very well laid out, and still nail to my forehead, in between my brows. There was this irrational fear of, you're not gonna make it. I really need to sit down sometimes and just be completely rational about my time and priorities during the project because because by just feeling that I might make it, I might not gonna make it, that shit doesn't get my work done. Even though I was feeling that I totally need to clone myself. How much can a clone cost? Does Amazon have a two-day delivery? Because I need like two more. And yeah, that was a fantasy that I was having. And pretty much what I'm doing right now with this video editing, that, that's all I could get from that fantasy. So enjoy it. Don't get me wrong, like that feeling of finishing sections one by one, little by little, your worries kind of shrink. Yeah, they go away. Like a very often I have to like, okay, sit down. Just take a look at the footage. Like, like if I were like another outside viewer like you guys, pay attention and check it out, all that shit that you just did. Like maybe a little bit credit, no? And um, oh man, I think this is very common that it is pretty damn hard to just look at yourself and give yourself some credit like oh no yeah apparently super hard to just not diminish what you just did stop yourself a little bit and just just tell to yourself that at least i did it just tell to yourself that like you did work hard because all those things that you did they do not look like nothing i'm having that little bit of realization just now when i'm sitting down checking all this footage it's a good exercise guys it's a really good exercise okay okay so let's just be appreciative and and say like yay i did something today a whole lot of something and what better place to just show it than the internet yay no What I want to say is, appreciate yourselves, guys. Can you be your own biggest fan? But, like, be a good fan. Don't be, like, these haters fans. Like, oh, um, mm. Like, they think that they're doing something good for you by telling you that they don't like you anymore because you've changed a little bit. When change is necessary, if you don't like the direction that this is taking, we all be okay. I mean, you can just, like, fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. There's a lot of people that grow up being or wanted to be artists and we all know that during your whole growing up we all deal with a lot of resistance towards it so when the thing starts going okay we start to looking like something that it might be something this resistance does not go away but people just attribute this to pure luck and not to actually your really hard hard work 
So if you have something that you have been working on really, really, really hard and you want to share it for it just to be appreciated, share it. I would love to see it. I will be that person for you that will see it and will love it by the just bare meaning of what it takes to just make it and the frightful feeling of sharing it. So come out, come out, come out and play. everything up and get ready to go back home tomorrow so that same day very late at night I just took like a little moment to walk the whole place around checking for little imperfections what needed to be fixed last minute and that's when it hit me after finishing walking this whole place around that's when I got the little time to take this out of my chest and say okay yeah I did all this by myself where I'm going with this is appreciate yourselves guys so again uh, thank you very much guys for watching and being supportive I really appreciate you guys liking it and subscribing even if it's just one person subscribing for that one video that I put up that I, I'm, I'm happy enough. John and Huber that helped me so much the first few days. I just want to say thank you to everybody at EVH to make this so, so fun to work with. Also, Anna and Megan, I adore you guys and can't wait to go back and keep working together. Thank you so much, Natesh, to help everybody 
to make everything work and make everything so so cool thank you thank you thank you thank you so much patrons as well i'm really grateful that you guys have the time the little bit time to come around and just say hey i like what you're doing please don't stop i think it is pretty cool to be documenting all of this for for the future me i know i'm gonna be very very grateful that i kept on doing this and showing this so yeah um thanks everybody and i'm gonna put like some yeah like enjoy these colors and that's it okay bye bye, -bye.